Can y'all hear me? Y'all know I'm loud. I really don't have the music for real, for real. But, um, first of all, I want to say thank you. I want to thank everyone for choosing the LM Peacock and this Tristan with your kids, basically. Um, this is the first for you team in three years. So 2019 was our last score and other team before COVID hit. Um, last year we didn't have a score and other team because of COVID. Um, but I don't know if some of y'all know me, some of y'all don't. If y'all don't know me, raise your hand. I, I want to introduce myself to y'all. You know, hey, I'm Coach Keisha. <laughs> so, um, yeah. This little group here. The, the phone calls y'all, it's like, oh, they so cute, they so, like, to me, it is amazing to see little babies, little black babies playing the same sport that boys are doing, and they kind of, like, do it a little bit better to me. So, but I really just want to thank y'all for real, for real, and I hope y'all, you know, come back again in the next season, which is spring, our next event that we're going to do, I mean, our next sport is, it will be playing football. I don't know if y'all want y'all kids to be putting on flags and stuff, but yeah. Um, this sport right here, my daughter, been, she's been playing it since she was five. She's over there in the corner. Sorry. Wait, wait. Say hey. <laughs> She'll be 12 this year. She's been doing it since she was literally five years old, and to me, like, I've seen her potential. And I invested so much in her, and she is, she's going to me, she's going to play. But it's really up to the parents. If y'all want, if this is something that you want your kids to do, invest, and just practice with them at home, and just keep, you know, working with them. To me, softball, this program is deeper than the game. Uh, with my older girls, I, just, I have a relationship with everybody. But because y'all was kind of like so far apart in another part, I ain't really get to, you know, gravitate to y'all little bit because y'all was kind of like separated in Forest Park. But next year it may be a little bit different, and I, because some of these kids I don't even know, I ain't even gonna tell you my story, and I, I don't like that. I like to know all the kids, because it's seven, it's seven other teams in the program. I literally know everybody's name. Only because this group right here is kind of so far apart from me, but next year I promise y'all will be better. So, charge to me here in the heart. Um, I want to thank all of the coaches, the team moms. Um, at least, um, I really want to give a shout out to, what's your name, Coach E, right? Coach E, he stepped in, stepped up out of nowhere. Coach B, the thing of me is, y'all, so believe it or not, when I said I was going to have a point on the team, I got a, a college coach with me right now. She said, Coach Keisha, um, how many, how many girls do you have before you? Exactly what I told her. Really none. She was like, so you really just walking by faith. I am. <laughs> like, I really did. It was no girls. I just put it out there. If they come, they come. They don't, they don't. But coaching is not easy, as y'all think. I literally just put my coaching hat down a couple of months ago. I decided I do not want to coach my daughter no more. I just want to run a program because it's not, it's not easy. It may seem easy, but... With little babies, you got to tell them to go do this, tell them to do that. They got to use the bathroom. They hot. They hungry. It's not It's not easy at all. And then, you know, you got to make sure they're doing what they're supposed to do when they get to practice. And make sure they're not, you know, hurting each other. But um, I do want to say thank you to the team mom. She, team moms, I don't think the other one is here. Uh, yeah, I, I, this is, you know, amazing. Believe it or not, y'all. Back in 2019, 2018, I was literally running all these teams by myself. How y'all got this going on? I would do that for each team. And I really want to say thank you. I was, yeah, I ain't exaggerating. I'm talking about from one, one field to another field, coaching. I'm everybody coach. Believe it or not, I was everybody coach for my team, 12 and 14 Everybody coach. That's because I wanted to be in web, you know. It's not easy being stretched and pulled, and it's not easy, you know, it's, it's volunteer work. You know, the people don't get paid. And, you know, we want to see our kids do good, you know, in the sport. But once again, I do appreciate y'all for 
being loyal and getting your kids back and forth to the practices and to the games. Um, I can't thank these coaches enough because literally before them, I was going to try to coach. I, I, people ask me, how you going to do it? I'm going to figure it out. To be honest with you, I just left him go and he really just sent me coaches. I had, at one point, I had six teams with probably like five coaches. I probably was a coach on each one of those teams. So coaching is not easy. And if you guys want to learn a game, it's not that hard. You know, it's hard, but it's not that hard. But it's just take a family, you know, commitment and just being able to help each other. That's what I'm about. That's what this program is about. It's family. Um, the, the older girls, believe it or not, 10, 12, and 14, they like family. They all know each other. They all practice together. And that's what I want them because they're the youngest in the program. So eventually, you know, they'll be one of the top if y'all decide to keep them together. However, um, whatever the case may be, I, this is this is like amazing to me because believe it or not, y'all, when I started this, I started this with my daughter and three three um, cheerleaders. Not knowing what I was getting myself into, somebody said, you need to start your own program. And I was like, how do I want to do that? And I did it and it just blew up. And to me, it's amazing to see these girls just playing and having fun and beating up on the boys. To me, I, I get a kick out of beating up on the boys. I don't have nothing against boys. I got three teenage boys, four of them, actually. A godson and a son that I birthed and two still kids. I love them, but I feel like people sleep on the girls a lot. Girls are athletic just like the boys are. But we have to, you know, put them in. We can't sleep on the girls ourselves as parents. But, um, yeah, I appreciate y'all. And if y'all return, it's gonna be better, it's gonna be bigger. We're gonna have a bigger pink sock day out, a bigger pink sock day in. We're gonna rock it on out, we're gonna have fun, we're gonna keep beating up on all the boys. Thank you again, Mrs. Yolanda. Thank you, Coach B. Thank you, Coach B. I thank every, each and every one of y'all. This right here wouldn't be able to help without y'all. So I appreciate y'all for having patience with the kids. I thank y'all for having patience with the them because it's not an easy job. Like they didn't stop talking in right. So <laughs> not going just imagine it's just two, three of them trying to keep them calm. That's a lot. You know, I was over here like, wait a minute. Like even practice with them to me, that's like having a baby all over here. My daughter 12 years old. So for me to go back and go practice with some four of y'all, I'm like, wait a minute, y'all. Stop, stand, stand still, do this and that. My nerves don't get old. I ain't gonna wait and go get those no stories. Once again, I appreciate y'all. Next season will be, it will start in January. I recommend y'all to start them early. Keep them active. If they be chilly, if they be basketball, whatever it is, keep them active. Practice them at home. When it's next season roll around, just keep them in so that they can, you know, remember. Although they are, you know, little. It depends on how um, serious y'all want to be with them. Like I said, my daughter 12 years old, I invest a lot of money. She get pitching lessons, she get hitting lessons. She play high level travel ball, which is a, maybe $1,500 a season. So, but you have to invest. So this is just red ball, just letting y'all know. <laughs> uh huh. I thought I heard something say something. Well, yeah, it's just red ball, but at the same time, depending on how serious you want to get, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty penny. Because I feel like just to have to catch your attitude with me. You want to bump up. And it's not easy with them girls. Y'all, them attitudes pop in. They pop in. They on day. They all of them. They, they be quiet. Now they're going to talk about me. They're going to boom me. And they like me. <laughs> they still, I don't know they stop talking to me. Not one time. But once again, thank y'all for choosing the Little Pink Fox. And I hope y'all come back again next year. And if y'all know somebody else that want to play, post your kids. I'm going to tell y'all right now, we got a lot of um, imposters, okay? And what I mean by imposters is this this program has been around since 2016. These girls have been wearing tutus since 2017. All of a sudden, everybody want to be pink and blue or pink and yellow. Everybody want to be pink. Everybody want to be pink. So sometimes people may think, hey, I see your team playing so well. Nah, that ain't my team. But... 
you know, hands down. It, you know, it's a free world, free country. You do whatever you want to do, but just don't, you know, pop out style. But just let you know, when when you invite your your your, your friends, your partners, just let them know, hey, you play for the pink socks. Make that put some um emphasis on it, okay? So spread word. Um, I'm gonna put a flyer out here soon for the fall and the next season, and even for flag football. Just you know, spread word. Even if your kid don't wanna play flag football, they ain't gotta play. But I think it'd be fun for them to be up with y'all. So, but thank y'all. Thank you.
one of the smallest, but might be the biggest one on the team. This award right here is for the cutest run. Not the cutest one. Jay White.
right here, man. She surprised me. She really did. I ain't know she was going. She surprised me, y'all. I'm telling you. Be like, be like. Like she did her thing. I can't, I can't knock her. She most valuable player, Madison Fields. Woo!
the program, y'all. I got 18 moms. She is one of the ones that call me and keep me informed with every single thing. Miss your mother. I really, I really, really, I really, I really, I really appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you so much. This next one goes to Coach Eric. He has a lot of patience with the girls. I've never seen a man with so much patience. Now, I, I, I couldn't do it. I've been on walk off the field. <laughs> like, I, the way he handles the kids, to me, is the best. He has patience. He talks to them. He don't scream at them. He don't get frustrated with them. One of the best coaches in the program, Coach Eric. Thank you for all you do. This next award goes to Coach Bree. Uh, she's on the phone. Okay, Coach Bree. She stepped up. <laughs> she stepped up and helped Coach as well. Thank you, and we hope to see you next year. Thank you so, 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 so much. You're amazing. Thank you. 